Hi everyone, welcome to another video in my Above and Beyond series. In this video of the series, you're gonna learn the effects of some of the most important drone settings and strategies that you should know to put you in a position to create beautiful aerial videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now this series is what I call Above and Beyond. If you don't know, uh, you can watch the first one right up here, I'll put it, and then down in the video description as well. But this series is kind of an effort to help those of you just getting started in the hobby of drones, or maybe for those of you who are struggling to get the most out of your drone, like maybe you've had it for a while and you just, you're like, you're frustrated because you can't get it the way that you want it to. So it's my goal that you walk away with something that's gonna help you be more knowledgeable and gain more skill in some way. Like I want you guys to use your drones, okay? So trying to determine the best drone movement settings can be a little overwhelming at times especially if you've just gotten into this hobby. Now I was looking back to see the last time that I did a tutorial on drone settings, and it was actually when the Mavic 2 Pro came out. So this video is very long overdue. Now what I want you to understand as I show you these numbers is what effect each of these have on your drone. I'm not gonna tell you the exact numbers to use because that's something that I hope you figure out as you go and you go out and fly and you're gonna figure that out. Like this works best for me. Like you need to decide what you think looks the best for you through trial and error. I'm not giving you a fish here. I'm teaching you how to fish. And yes, I'll be giving my recommendation on some of these settings, but you ultimately need to decide what's best for you and for each situation that you're gonna be flying. And then also, even though every drone's gonna be a little bit different, the settings will still have the same effect. So what I'm showing you will transfer to multiple DJI drones. Today I'm using the Air 3S, but a lot of these things will apply to pretty much any recent DJI drone. So to get to the settings we're talking about today, go, you go ahead and click on the upper uh, three dots in the upper right hand corner, you click on control, and then you'll see a setting called gain and expo tuning right there. Okay, so we're gonna click on that. Hopefully you guys can see this on the screen, but, and then you'll see at the top, you have three options. There's cine, there's normal, and then there's sport mode. Now the benefit of having three options is that you can quickly toggle between the three modes and instantly have the settings that you want enabled. And yes, cine mode is made for like slow cinematic movements, but it doesn't have to be like that. You can make it act however you want. And the same goes for normal and sport mode. Like you can change these settings to set them however you want them to be. Like you can just change one little thing and have it just be a little bit different than the other two settings, right? Than the other two modes. So. Yes, the baseline numbers are a little bit different than normal, but they aren't that much different. So let's go ahead and click on normal right now and let's go through each of these settings. So the first ones are pretty self-explanatory. You have max horizontal speed, max ascent speed, and max descent speed. So most of the time, you're gonna want these set all the way up. Uh, and that's just gonna affect how your drone flies forwards, backwards, and sideways on horizontal speed and then for max ascent speed and descent speed, basically how fast will that drone climb in altitude and how fast will it decrease in altitude. So let's go ahead and get the Air 3S up in the air here and I'll show you what's going on. Okay. All right, let's head over that way a little bit so it's not so noisy. Here, let me see my screen here. It's not, oh, there we go. As you may know, DJI got rid of geo zones. Thank goodness. I'm so happy that they did. There's a lot of controversy about it, but I live in an area that is a geo zone and I have to unlock it every time I fly. I don't have to do that anymore, thankfully. And like, this is a whole new video, a whole different video, but uh, I'm so, so happy that that's changed. Okay, so let's go ahead and get up in the air a little bit here, make sure that I'm above the tree line. Okay, let's bring back up the settings. So max horizontal speed. All right, I got it set all the way up to 33.6. Depending on your drone, this is gonna be a little bit different. Okay, and these are the maximum speeds that your drone's gonna be able to travel when the obstacle avoidance is on, okay? Uh, max horizontal, max descent, and max descent. So let's just show you right now. Let's leave it at 33.6. And we're just gonna fly straight ahead. We'll go over the railroad tracks and we're in normal mode, as you can see right there. 
and we're getting right up to about 32 miles an hour, okay? Same goes for sideways, so let's move the stick to the left. Let's get up a little bit just to be safe. So we're getting about 30 miles an hour there. So as you can see, forwards, backwards, and sideways for your max uh, horizontal speed. And then maximum ascent and descent. So let's left stick up, going about 13 miles per hour. Left stick down, about negative 13 miles per hour. We're not going negative 13, but uh, the negative just lets you know that it's going down, okay? So let's go back into the settings here. So those are pretty self-explanatory, but I wanted to show them to you anyway. Let's go back into here. And you can adjust these settings. Now, why would you ever want to change it? Because, you know, the input on your sticks as far as horizontal speed and maximum ascent and descent speed depends on how far you push the stick, right? Well, there might be a situation, because you can, you can fly slower if you want to by just going halfway with your stick, right? or a quarter away or whatever, just a little bit of movement on the stick means a little bit of movement on the drone. But let's say you wanna just, you wanna have that stick pushed all the way and you only want the drone to go a certain speed. So let's say you're following, say a train, like a good example is when you're following a train and you wanna try to keep it the same speed that the train is going, like, and you don't wanna do active track, like you probably should do active track, but if you don't want to, you can set that speed to, approximately what you think the drone is going to be and then you can just hold that stick and it's going to keep it's not going to go above that speed so most of the time you're going to want to keep these all the way up okay so maximum angular velocity all right so i have mine set pretty high right now 75 degrees per second and what that is is it's how fast is the drone going to yaw left or right when you push on the left stick okay so let's bring up the drone here so right now 75 degrees i'll show you what it looks like Okay, that's pretty quick. So my recommendation, that's a little too fast. All right, I usually have mine around 60. Again, it's gonna be different for everybody. So let's bring it back up. So that was at 75 and I'll just show you the differences here. So um, maximum angular. So let's go all the way to, to 20 degrees per second and I'll just show you here. That's pushing the stick all the way to the left. Okay, and then let's push it all the way to the right. It's only moving 20 degrees per second, so that's pretty slow. And let's uh, crank it all the way up to 90 degrees per second. Okay, very, very fast. That's too fast, but if your goal is to yaw quickly, that's what you're gonna wanna have it set at, 90 degrees per second. So, like I said, I usually hover right around 60 degrees per second for that one. And I'll just show you what that looks like really quick. So it's a good balance between the two, right? All right, let's go to uh, yaw smoothness. So basically yaw smoothness is how fast or how slow does the yaw engage and disengage? So let's turn it all the way down to one, okay? And let's push on that left stick and let go and it's gonna stop instantly, okay? So if your smoothness is low, that means it's not gonna be smooth, right? It's gonna be low, uh, very, very quick, sharp stops, okay? Sharp starts, sharp stops. Okay, and let's crank it all the way up. Let's go to 100. Now let's go stop, and it continues to roll. Go to the right, let go. Okay, very, very gradual decrease uh, in speed when you let go of the stick. So I have this, whoop, what did I do? Oh, there we go, <laughs> sorry about that. So let's move our yaw smoothness. I have this one set to about 40. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like. Boom, okay. Now that's a little bit longer than most people have their set. I think the average drone pilot has their set around 20, 25, maybe 30 max. I like that little bit of drift at the end. You can always edit that out. Okay, so I'll have mine set a little bit longer, but again, that's different for every single person. Okay, so let's see here. Um, yaw smoothness, that's what yaw smoothness is. Brake sensitivity. So when you release the pitch stick, okay, you're gonna have between 10 and 150. So let's show you what this looks like. So let's put it all the way down to 10. Let's push forward. This is better if you're a little bit lower to the ground, I think. So let's get over here. Actually, let's bring it closer. Let's go down here above the water, okay? Okay. All right, so 
right now it's set to one, right? 10, excuse me, set to 10. So we're gonna push the stick and let go, and it's gonna continue moving. I do not like that, <laughs> way, way too low. Let's push it all the way up to 150. Okay, push the stick, let go. All right, and it's gonna stop suddenly. More suddenly, not suddenly, but stop suddenly, okay? So basically, it breaks sooner, the higher the number is, all right? So let's go back in here and let's set, what happened? Every time I touch that thing, it goes out of the screen. So let's go to break sensitivity, and we're gonna set this one at about 40 as well, okay? So let's show you what that looks like. Push on the right stick, let go, and it's gonna coast, okay, gradually, okay? It's a pretty well-balanced uh, break. Okay, I'm gonna bring the drone a little bit closer here just so I can keep a better eye on it. It's getting beyond my visual line of sight, so I wanna make sure that it's close to me. Okay, so let's bring it over here. There we go. All right, we'll go right in front of the railroad tracks here. Okay, so let's get into the expo settings now. So the expo settings are some of the most confusing settings for people. Uh, when they're flying their drones because they really don't know what they mean, right? Basically what it is, it's the sensitivity of the, sensitivity of the sticks when you engage those sticks. So let's, set, let's just show you an example. So let's show you yaw, right? So if you turn the yaw sensitivity all the way up to 0.9, look on the graph there. You see how that middle blue line got really long, okay, on the top and the bottom? So what that means is there's gonna be instant reaction of the drone when you touch that yaw stick. So let's yaw the drone, okay, to the right and to the left. So I barely am touching the stick, you guys. So you can see if I can show you on the screen here on my uh, Action 5 Pro. So just tap it and look at how it moves instantly, okay? Very, very sensitive. So let's go back. Let's put it all the way down to point 0.1. And you'll see on the graph there, whoops, I'll show you on the graph. See how the line went the other way now? So it kind of more stretches to the right and to the left, and that's more of a gradual curve instead of a sharp curve. So let's show you what that looks like. Left stick, yaw, and hasn't moved yet, hasn't moved yet, hasn't moved. Okay, I'm about halfway through the stick motion, and then it finally starts moving, okay? Same thing, you have to really, there's a lot of play when you have that sensitivity set low. All right, so I like to have this right around 0.3, Again, don't have to do what I do, but I have that set at 0.3. Pitch and roll, 0.25. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like turned all the way up to 0.9. Okay, so let's, let's, go, um, let's go right and left, forwards, backwards. Okay, I barely touch the stick and the drone starts moving. Okay, let's turn it all the way down. The green line stretches out to the right and to the left. And it's not moving yet. And there we go, finally moving. Same thing going forward. Okay, it takes a lot of movement on that stick for the drone to start moving. Okay, so this one I also have set at 0.3. Okay, those are my settings. Again, you don't have to follow what I'm doing, but let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so I have to give the stick just a little bit of motion before it starts moving. Okay, and then finally up and down, same thing. Let's put it to 0.9. I just barely touch the stick and the drone shoots up. Barely touch the stick, shoots down. And so this one I have set a little bit lower, 0.25. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, just like that. So those are the settings for Expo that, that shows you what the sensitivity on the sticks does as far as moving the drone. You don't want it too sensitive because you don't want the drone to react suddenly and you don't want it set the other way because you, you don't want it to take so long when you engage the sticks, okay? Because it's not gonna react to your motion on the sticks. So, uh, so overall, the bottom line, you guys, is to just have it balanced, all right? 0.25. Uh, all the way down the line is pretty common for a lot of people. I like my yaw and my pitch and roll just a tiny bit higher, all right? Uh, maximum control speed. So this controls your tilt on your gimbal. 
So let's move this all the way up to 100 degrees per second. That's very, very fast. So let's turn the wheel here. Top left wheel, boom. <laughs> okay, that's way, way, way too sensitive. And then let's go the other way, all the way down to one degree. And it barely moves. I'm pulling the wheel all the way to the left. And that's how fast it's going. So this one, right around 15 to 20 degrees per second. Okay, now I wanna show you, that, see how fast that stops? Okay, that gimbal wheel stops as soon as I let go. The gimbal stops as soon as I let go of the gimbal wheel. That's because the tilt smoothness is set, okay, to pretty low. So let's crank this up, 15, let go, and it's gonna continue to turn that gimbal up and down. So right around 15, that's my recommendation. Again, you might want it a little bit faster or you might want it a little bit um, slower. Uh, if you get confused and you, like, you feel like you messed everything up, you can always reset your current settings by tapping on reset current settings right there. And so that is the gain and expo tuning for your drones. So I just wanted to show you, give you a better idea of what all of that means. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. In my next video, I'm gonna go over some additional, in my next above and beyond series video, I'm gonna go over some additional settings that you can tweak in your drone just to give you a little more control. And then um, I'm also gonna go over the camera settings, like what all the camera settings mean and how they can affect what your ultimate video project looks like. So I wanna thank you for watching the entire video today, you guys, I really appreciate it. Thanks again for bearing with me over these past couple of months because I haven't been putting out the content that I really should, but it's been really miserable outside, out, miserable outside so, uh, so I'm happy to be out here again. Like this is, I'm in my element, and I love it so much, and I hope you guys are having good weather as well. So anyway, enough rambling. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day, and as always, fly safe and fly smart. <music>